As a blockchain developer, you can make $100,000 a year. That's already very good, but if you get even more specialized, you can earn even more up to one fifty to $200,000. That's not easy to get there, it takes some serious work. But even if you are a beginner, it's very important to know what are these high-end blockchain jobs so that you can set a clear objective for your blockchain journey. So in this video, I'm going to reveal what are these high-end jobs in blockchain and for each job, I will explain which skill you need to have and which companies offer this kind of job. And at the end of the video, I will explain which of these high-end jobs I recommend. If you don't know me, I'm Julian and on my channel, Eat The Blocks, I teach DeFi, blockchain development and how to find your first blockchain job. And before we continue, quick mention to my two upcoming course. First, there's going to be a new course on DeFi development and another one on advanced solidity. If you want to be notified when this course comes out, make sure to register with the links below. The first kind of high-end blockchain job is a blockchain core developer. As a blockchain core developer, you build the software that runs the blockchain. That's what we call a blockchain client. In terms of programming languages, you need to know low-level languages like C++, Rust or Golang. Which programming language you focus on really depends on which blockchain client you choose. For example, Geth, the leading Ethereum client, is written in Go. Open Ethereum, another important Ethereum client is written in Rust. In terms of frameworks and library, it really depends on which area of the blockchain software you focus on. This kind of work is quite complex and you will probably work on something very specific like networking, cryptography, storage. In any case, since what you do is very low level, you will need to understand the APIs of operating systems like Linux, Windows or Mac OS. Who hire a blockchain core developer? The vast majority of blockchain core development is open source, so you will need to be hired by a company that finance the open source development of a blockchain client. For example, you have all the companies that work on Ethereum 2 clients like Prisma Labs. You also have companies that build L2 scaling solutions on Ethereum like Stockware. Outside of Ethereum, you have to look at blockchain with active development like EOS or Cardano, and you also have companies that build into blockchain technology like Polkadot of Parity and Cosmos. So obviously being a blockchain core developer is quite technical and this is not for everyone. So next I'm going to show you another option which is a bit more accessible. As blockchain front-end expert, your job will be to build the front-end of blockchain application and make them as beautiful and as user-friendly as you can. Just to be clear, we are talking of applications that run on top of the blockchain, not the blockchain software itself. For most blockchain apps, the front-end is a web application that works in web browsers like Chrome, Firefox, etc. For that, you will need to master HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and React. That's really the basis. But since we are talking of front-end expert here, you will also need some extra skills. You need to know how to manage the state of your front-end. So in the past, we used to use libraries like Redux or MobX, but nowadays we tend to use tools provided by React itself, like the Context API. You also need to know how to build reusable components so that other team members can reuse your work. When we build reusable components, a very useful tool is Storybooks, which can be used to document your components in a nice visual catalog. You also need to know how to test your front-end. So there are two kinds of tests. First, unit testing and then integration testing. With unit testing, you test individual UI components using tools like Jest or Enzyme. With integration testing, you test that the whole front-end works well using tools like Cypress. You also need to know TypeScript, which is basically JavaScript plus types. I personally don't like TypeScript because it introduces some extra unnecessary complexity, but a lot of companies will not take you seriously if you don't know TypeScript as a front-end expert. Next, for the integration with the Ethereum blockchain, you need to know Web3 and Ethers, two JavaScript libraries used to interact with Ethereum. You will also need to know some Ethereum API services like Infura, QuickNode, or Tenderly. Next, you need to know how to integrate the front-end with Ethereum wallets where users keep their private keys client-side. Even though there is some standardization, each wallet has its own specificities. 
you need to know how to integrate with MetaMask, the most popular Ethereum wallet, as well as other popular wallets like Fortmatic, Taurus. To simplify your task, you can use a library called Web3 Model that allow you to do the integration with many wallets. Among the wallets I mentioned, some of them are so-called smart wallets. These are basically wallets with a smart contract part. As a front-end expert, you need to understand how smart wallets work and what are the differences with more simple wallets like MetaMask. So that's it for the front-end. Next, we will see another type of high-end blockchain job. As a Solidity expert, you will create advanced smart contracts. So I already discussed Solidity a lot on my channel. And what I want to focus on here is what separates a Solidity expert from a beginner. Several things. First, you need to know well the Ethereum virtual machine, also called EVM, with its different memory location and how the code of a smart contract is executed. Then you need to know how to write safe smart contract. Since in smart contract we manipulate money and smart contract code is immutable, it's very, very important to not have security vulnerabilities and bug. So you need to know about the typical security vulnerabilities of solidity and how to avoid them. You also need to know how to use a few security tools like Mithril. As a bonus, if you know how to do smart contract audits, this can also be very valuable because smart contract audits are very expensive. Next, you also need to know how to write good tests for your smart contracts. Good tests need to be comprehensive. We also say that the test coverage needs to be high. Another important skill is to write gas efficient code. In Ethereum, we need to pay for transaction cost. That's what we call gas. And as a developer, you should strive to write smart contracts that consume as little gas as possible. This is actually related to another important skill, which is the mastery of assembly. Assembly is a low level smart contract language that allow you to interact directly with elementary instruction of the Ethereum virtual machine, what we call opcodes. In general, you should avoid using assembly as much as possible because it's easier to have security vulnerabilities with assembly, but for some tasks, we have no choice. For example, for some EVM operations, we can't do them in solidity. We need the flexibility of assembly. Also, if you need to do some gas optimization, sometimes it's only possible in assembly. Then you need to know well the main Solidity tools and frameworks like Truffle, OpenZeppelin, Butler. You also need to be familiar with tools to compute automatically the test coverage, the gas consumption, and linters to format your code. There is actually a way to run these tools automatically after each commit, and as a Solidity expert, you should be able to do that. And another skill you should have is debugging. Smart contract debugging is notoriously difficult, but recently we had a lot of new tools that are very good, such as Tenderly that allow you to have a stack trace where you see all the series of function calls up to the error. You also have debugger in Truffle and Remix. So that's it for Solidity. Next, we're going to focus on DeFi development. DeFi or decentralized finance is a specific use case of the Ethereum blockchain. With DeFi, we build decentralized applications that reinvent finance but on the blockchain. It has grown tremendously in 2020 and nowadays most blockchain applications are for DeFi use cases. If you position yourself as a DeFi expert, there are three skills you need to have. First, you should be able to understand the individual building blocks of DeFi. Tokens, liquidity pools, yield farming, flash loans, etc. Then you should know how the main DeFi project work and how you can interact with them from smart contracts and from web applications. And finally, you should be able to combine all of the above, the individual building blocks on DeFi and integration with other DeFi protocols in order to build your own DeFi protocol. And as a bonus, if you have a background in trading, economics or finance, that can help too, but that's not strictly required. So that's it for DeFi. All right, so which specialty should you choose? You can make good money for any of these specialties up to 150, 200K. For blockchain core development, that's really interesting technically, but it takes a lot of time to get to that level. And the market is actually pretty small. You only have a few companies that need that kind of blockchain core skills. So I wouldn't recommend this for your first choice unless you really have a passion for low-level programming and blockchain core technologies. For front-end, one big advantage is that it's a little bit less scary than other specialties because it's very visual. Another advantage is that the demand for front-end developer is huge. 
all blockchain companies need front-end developers. However, the big downside is that since front-end development is so accessible, you have much more competition, so it's a bit more difficult to stand out. One way to really stand out is to be really good at UX and show that you can do some complex UI with nice code. If you are too scared by Solidity, you can start with the front-end. Which leads me to talk about Solidity. It's very common for me to talk to blockchain entrepreneurs who picked up some coding skills for the front end but who feel very scared of the smart contracts in Solidity. However, Solidity looks more scary than it actually is. For example, in Solidity, programs are usually way smaller than for the front end. In many cases, it's actually easier to develop Solidity code compared to complex front ends and less time consuming. But for some reason, most people don't realize this. So we have a skill which is not so difficult in very high demand with very low supply. So take advantage of this. When you know Solidity, you become very precious on the market and it takes less time to develop the required skills compared to other specialties. Now, how about DeFi? DeFi is in a very similar situation as Solidity. High demand, low supply. DeFi skills and Solidity skills are actually very related. So my recommendation is to specialize both in Solidity and in DeFi development. And after that, you will become unstoppable and you will be able to command very high salaries. If you want to see a tons of other useful career advice for your blockchain career, check out this playlist on my channel. I'll see you there.